Hey beauties and welcome back to I Am Beautiful Hustle TV. Today we are back with a new video and today's hair is provided by RPG Hair. Now y'all, this is the most, okay, most natural wig I have ever seen and installed, okay? This is something new, it's called the Kinky Edges, like the realistic Kinky Edges with the kinky hair y'all and when i tell y'all when i installed this 18 inch wig and it already come bleach knots and you know pre-plucked and all that like listen y'all this is a wig you take out of the box and you just put it on okay but y'all know to make things easier i like to style it now before installing but nevertheless like i was saying y'all okay this is their kinky edges kinky straight wig okay and when I say kinky edges, I mean like the edges are so natural. Like they come already like separated from the wig. So it's like you already going to have that most natural looking wig and style that you can create, ever create. And y'all, at first I was real iffy about this wig, but no. When I tell y'all after installing this wig, okay, which people didn't even know it was a wig. They didn't even think it was a wig until I told them it was a wig. Like it's giving Dominican blowout it's giving wash press blowout and then i had cut some layers in it like y'all this video is gonna be the best most realistic wig install on youtube okay so let's get into it so first things foremost what i did was spray that fantasia's heat protectant on the edges and on the wig and now i'm just going in with my flat iron and just kind of pressing out the hair just to get some of those kinks out um, because I don't want to leave it too, too kinky. I kind of want to really go for that Dominican blowout look. So that's why I decided to go inside and actually, you know, flat iron the hair. Nothing too fancy. Just add a little bit of heat protectant and just flat iron it, you know, piece by piece or whatever to get it as straight as possible. But this is what the wig looks like, y'all, fresh out of the pack. Like, you don't have to do nothing to it as far as plucking, bleaching, and not nothing like that because it's really the most natural wig you can ever install. Like, no exaggeration, Okay. But once I finish flat ironing this wig and getting all prepped up, I'm going to do like both sides. And then after that, we're going to get right into the install. So at first I thought I was going to do a middle part, but I decided to do a side part. And then just add like some natural cut looking layers. And y'all, y'all just stay tuned. But like I mentioned, y'all, this is RPG hair. They're 18 inch kinky straight, uh, kinky realistic edges wig. And y'all, it's going to be in love by the time I'm finished. All right. So um, real quick, if you watching this video, just go ahead and give it a thumbs up before we even get into the stuff for real. So yeah. And if you want to be new to the channel, just don't forget to subscribe and turn on those bells. But y'all stay tuned because this is going to be something else. I'm telling you.
And just from me pressing the hair out, y'all, y'all can tell it's definitely giving blowout effect. Like, this is really no exaggeration. The most natural wig ever. Like, when I posted this on Instagram, they went crazy. They didn't even know it was a wig. And you know, everybody knows my natural hair is already long and thick, you know what I'm saying, like this, or almost about the same length. So they already, like, just looking at it, they thought, oh, she just got her hair washed and blow it out. And I was like, most natural wig ever. They was like, what? This is a wig? Like, yes. <laughs> y'all, I'm telling y'all, this wig is so raw. Like, this is up and close and personal. That's after I, you know, pressed it out and I'm giving y'all like a back view. And now it's time to install this baby, okay? So, most natural wig ever. Here we go. So, y'all already know I'm going to slap the wig on my head. I'm going to add some foundation to the inside of the lace. And I'm only going to do two layers today for, you know, um, you know, just like a little light hole. Nothing too crazy. But this is what the wig looks like. Y'all know because of my hairline, I'm going to have to cut off a lot of the hair in the center. But I'm going to show you guys how I made the kinky edges really, like, work for me. And, um how I just made it look like super natural. Like it's really not much to do because this wig already has come super natural, but you know, it is a little finishing touches that you can do to really, you know, help yourself out. So, um, you know, once I put the wig on, y'all see I'm cutting a size to make sure it lays down good. Then I'm gonna go in with that Ruby Kisses foundation, add it on the, you know, just the front part of the lace. Cause like I said, y'all, it already comes with the knots, bleach and everything like that. And then I will be using my mini glue, strawberry scented adhesive and just doing two little light layers and y'all will see that it dries very very fast okay and yes i still have glue in stock yes so you can head over to my website and purchase your glue and it will ship out uh beginning next week or whenever you you know it, it just ship out quick okay um but nevertheless um i'm just going in with two little light layers and i love using my little small glue because it's like as you're applying the glue you're already spreading it out versus if you're using the other one and you have to actually put like just place the dots or whatever or the line and then spread it out like i actually spread my glue with the mini glue as i'm going along with the little flat nozzle and it just makes everything much easier and i'm just going in with that second coat y'all see how clear that glue is okay you won't even know that i even put a layer on i put a layer down already okay if you didn't watch the video but yes, adding that second layer dries really fast. And then we're going to go ahead and take it down. It's going to dry completely clear. And we're going to get right into the natural melt. Okay. the basic simple um you know prep lay down the glue uh press it in blow dry it on the heat flat iron the roots and we're gonna tie down with that melt belt let that melt down sit for like five to ten minutes okay and then once we finish with that we come back on y'all know how i go you know if you know you know okay removing that melt belt this is what it's looking like y'all know because my hairline is already like that hair, that high low hairline we're gonna have to cut off more in that center and then we're gonna work our way to the sides so I just raise it, you know, everything pretty quickly, you know, pretty norm. Um, and then I'm going to do the other side as well. I'm going to cut the extra lace from around the ears too because there was a little more extra lace around the ears that I could have got rid of. But yes, yeah, just razor it off and then I'm going to cut any extra lace on the side or whatever. And at first I was like, I don't know now, y'all. We're going to see what we're working with. But listen. I'm telling you, like, even the way I did the edges, because, okay, so y'all know when the first, the, the wig first comes out, it's, like, really, really kinky, but I kind of wanted to press it out so it could look um, more natural, even though it does look natural with the edges already kinky, but if you kind of straighten it out with the hot comb like I did before installing, it gives you a little more of that permed, not really permed, but, like, it's even more natural. You get what I'm saying? Because naturally speaking, 
um, if you're wearing your hair on a blowout, your edges are not kinky still. They're more straightened out. So that's what made me um, hot comb the edges before putting it in. Like, I really wanted to give off that blowout, you know, that blowout effect, like that Dominican blowout with a press cut, trim, add layers, whatever. So now that I have that glue, um, well, now that I have that lace off and I'm just kind of pretty much mapping out how I'm going to lay it because I am going to go in some more and raise off some of the edges because I know because of my hairline I had to cut a lot of that short part off but I'm gonna show you how I did it anyways so for starters we're just gonna go ahead and do a quick little side part and I'm adding my wax stick and going in I'm going to press out around um, you know that area just to get it more flatter more neater you know just to really give off that natural effect and even the scalp like if you look at the scalp part you know usually when you bleach the knives it'd be over bleached or whatever like that but no they bleached the wig perfectly and it really does look like my scalp like my actual scalp color so like even with this install i did not go and conceal the part because it wasn't necessary i just really wanted to give out that very very natural look and it gave okay so just going in with that hot comb i'm just going to keep pressing out the roots making sure it's all nice and neat um as y'all see i keep pulling like the part that was short um, and really really kinky on the front of the wig. I just went ahead and I'm pulling Well, not pulling but combing that part Forward because those are gonna be the little parts that I raise it down some more since I had to cut off some of the kinky part um, Due to the shape of my hairline, but once I finish hot combing this thing out um, I'm gonna show you guys how I cut my layers into the hair um, And as well as raise it down the edges to be short again to give off that very natural effect back pulling this forward and I'm going in with the eyebrow razor and I'm razoring the edges down again because like I mentioned y'all the parts that was already short on the wig some of it got cut off due to my hairline so that's why I am lightly and heavy on the lightly razoring it back down short like it was on the front of the wig to really give off that natural effect and really like because the purpose of it is the purpose of this wig is to give super like supernatural like you're not supposed to think it's a wig and this wig is pulling that look exactly off and that's why i didn't do uh super neat edges and swoops and all that that was not the look i was going for for this one so to make this more realistic what i decided to do is blunt the ends so y'all know um i just pull the hair forward and just a quick little tip when you pull all of the hair forward and you cut it even when you throw the hair to the back it falls in a layer where the size is coming in diagonally and the middle part is like the longest part so it really looks layered from the back which I will see also in the middle I mean at the end of the video how it looks from the back so when you do pull your hair forward and you do it blunt like I did it does give you that really nice natural look when you flip your hair to the back okay and then I went in with my eyebrow razor and I raised some layers in the front end here and just going in with my big flat iron just doing a light little bump for the layers you know giving a little volume towards the top and then I decided to add more layers on the other side as well so I will go back in with that razor right about now and diagonal some layers on this side y'all like this look was so freaking natural like this has to be the most natural looking wig install on YouTube and I've went through some videos and seen people doing this kinky wig look but I'm just saying I'm to my own horn and like yeah you ain't got nothing on this one right here okay because people was like I said shocked that this was a wig okay and they my beauties know my red hair is nice full thick and long and healthy just like this baby so I had a lot of y'all 
y'all fool. Y'all thought I went and got my blowout again. Nope, just got me a raw wig. <laughs> Period. So, after I added those layers, then I'm just going to bump it real nice and hard to give it that real bumped effect towards the end. And you can wear it just how I had it down in your face. You can pull it back with a little piece down like that. Or you can pull all of it behind your ear. Either way it goes, y'all. This was my hair, okay? My hair. And I'm just going in some more and cleaning up the layers to just make it a little more blunt, but not blunt, but blunt, if you get what I'm saying, okay? Um, just to clean it up a little bit more so it looks less stringy and more organized. And then um, once I'm done with that, bump it just a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? You could go a little hard with this because I want the layers to look layered, actually, okay? Not too, too soft, but no harsh lines either, okay? So um, just going and pressing and you know making sure that's bumped and listen this plan I get hot so when I when I be dropping that thing I be like oh that thing hot okay but we have a nice little layer look I'm gonna give y'all a full 360 of what it looks like so stay tuned for the finished look And now to really set off my uh, natural edges, I'm just taking some mousse. And y'all see I'm just brushing it downward, okay, with the mousse. Not swooping it, not doing none of that. Just really brushing it downward to make the hairs, like, kind of, you know what I'm saying. Like, you just want to make it look as natural as possible. So that's why I'm using the edge brush and just brushing and brushing and brushing. And I didn't like how, like, unevenly cut it was right here. So y'all going to see me going with the eyebrow razor again and razor it down even shorter to really give off that, like, yeah, you know how people just have naturally short edges, okay? Like, it ain't supposed to be too much, okay? So, yes, now that I have that more desired look that I want, not perfect, just natural short pairs, okay? Um, I'm going to brush the other side, add a little mousse, and just brush it. It don't have to be neat, like I say, it don't have to be perfect, but just give off that very super natural hairline look. <laughs> just, hey, I killed this, okay? I killed this. Like, I killed this. That's all I want to say. I killed that. I did, I did it. I did my big. And that's okay with me. What wig? What lace? This is the real definition of what lace. The real definition of what wig. Okay? Okay? Don't see. Y'all stop sleeping on me now. It's finna be a new year. Y'all still sleep. Time to wake y'all up. <laughs> yeah. Okay? So, y'all see me. You see me. Giving, giving natural scalp tease what lace. Okay? As we should. I just couldn't even believe how natural that thing was, y'all. I was still shocked. My damn self, like, what? Okay. But yes, here is the finished look. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a three, four, sixty. Yeah, like I said, y'all, this is my red hair. Y'all see it, but. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the, enjoyed the most natural wig ever on YouTube. And yes, that's a close-up and personal. Make sure y'all thumbs up, like, comment, share, all of the above. And don't forget to subscribe, y'all. Bye.